Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for past love, someone you have history with. If intuitively you saw the title and wanted to watch it, just trust your intuition that that's who the reading will be about. Also look for clues throughout the reading of who it might be. Um, but just remember that energy is fluid. The roles could be reversed and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. coming back welcome back if you are new here welcome just be aware I do not read reversals so if a card comes out of the reverse I will flip it upright this is just how I've always read tarot just you're aware so let's see spirit how does this past person feel about Sagittarius okay right away we have the ace of wands we have the queen of cups we have the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles. I heard it's inevitable. There's someone here who feels like it's inevitable that the two of you will come back together here. Um, there's just sort of this energy right now, like there's too much going on. There's too much going on. Now, I do love readings. Love can obviously be romantic. It can be friends. It can be family. So take it as it resonates. But what I am getting is someone is very inspired by you. Someone feels like you always have really good ideas or you're always sort of like bringing a fresh sort of energy to whatever's happening, a new perspective. Like I don't usually get that with the Ace of Wands, but I am getting that. Obviously, this is romantic. Someone's very attracted to you. They have a desire to like spark things up here again because this person feels like you have a really big heart. They feel like you're very kind. You're very compassionate. You're very loving. Um, you... <laughs> You know, the Queen of Cups is also very psychic and I feel intuitive and I feel like this person gets thrown off by but also really appreciates the fact that you can sort of read them, that you can pick up on things that maybe they don't easily admit or aren't aware of themselves. There's something about that too. So this person feels like, it's almost like in some way this person feels like you might know them better than they know themselves at times. Um... This person feels like it's inevitable the two of you will get back together here, but there's a lot going on. Tell me about that two of pentacles. Ten of swords. Okay, so whatever happened between the two of you is actually quite painful for this person. Um, there's sort of like a fear for that to happen again here, but I'm also getting like... This person doesn't really want to talk about this. If there was a betrayal or someone felt stabbed in the back, this person doesn't really want to talk about it. I also feel like someone could be debating ending something as well. Tell me more about that Ten of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, they could, they could be debating ending something with someone else here. They're kind of going back and forth. Yeah, someone they have history with here. Um, but I also feel like they're, they're reflecting on the history that they have with, with you. And saying that they, they're feeling very nostalgic. They miss you. They miss this connection here. I feel like there's something that they're teetering back and forth with. So it could be like, you know, a friend that's no good for them or a relationship or something like that. Something that's more um, surface level even. I, I'm getting a strong third party energy. So I feel like someone, this person, could, I mean... Again, energy is fluid, so take it as it resonates. But the way I'm reading it is this person could have had another energy and still does around them, but is going back and forth on whether or not to fully end that, to fully, and, and they know that they betrayed you in this process as well. So it's like they, they think about you, they want to spark things up again, they miss your energy, um, they miss your love, but they're still sort of dealing with someone else here. Tell me about that Queen of Wands. The Hierophant, yeah, I feel it's some sort of other commitment here. 
Um, this person could almost even feel like they are sort of obligated to it in some way, like they have to sort of uphold that connection. Um, like they, they feel like morally it's, it'd be wrong to end it, but at the same time, they don't even know if they want to be there. Um, it feels, it feels like this person also wants to like tell you some sort of truth about that situation, about what has gone on, um, or what is going on. It's like, they want to open up to you because they feel like you would understand they feel like you would get it here, Sagittarius. They want to let you know. It feels a little messy. I'm not going to lie, Sagittarius. It feels like um, they don't really have anyone else to talk to about it. But involving you makes it more complicated at the same time. So if you know this person to be in some sort of other commitment, or maybe they're just very involved in their um, culture, cultural, religious views, whatever it might be, something that they feel like they can't give up. It's like they feel obligated to some other commitment here, um, but they also think about walking away from it and ending it. And again, if they chose this over you in some way, they they understand there was a betrayal, and but they don't want they don't necessarily want to talk about that piece of it. So. Okay, let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands. Someone's not happy here. Eight of Swords. The King of Wands. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people involved in this connection. Now, I don't know, again, if this is like family, a group of friends, whatever. It might just be like you know, people, they co-workers even, uh, could be children even like, it's just, there's a lot of people here. So I feel like this person almost feels like they're undecided here. They don't know what to do. Um, because it's going to cause a fight. Tell me about the five of wands justice. It wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair. Four of pentacles. They know this. Ooh, the lovers. Yeah. I saw this at the beginning too. Gemini energy. They have Libra, um, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius. If you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Someone someone is having a hard time choosing on what to hold on to and what to let go to. Let go of, sorry. Um, they don't want to be unfair to anyone, but it's it's like playing that neutral ground or pl like playing that middleman or whatever it might be with this person. It's causing more issues than, like it's like they just need to decide. And you might have even told this person, just choose. Like you need to just choose. Um... But it's like they feel like they can't. They can't let go of you. They can't let go of whatever that other connection is. Um, or people, group of people, beliefs, whatever it is. It, it, it feels like this person is just overanalyzing the situation. I don't know. I don't necessarily see them reaching out here. I don't necessarily see. And if they do, I feel like it gets messy quick. I feel like it's... Um, you almost question like, why would I even like involve myself in this again? I don't want to, you know, sort of be a part of this because <laughs> there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of energy here and it feels, um, it feels like if, like, if you're talking to this person, you're talking to like five other people at the same time or like, and I mean that by like, maybe they go back and tell their best friend or their family or whoever about the conversation you had. It's like, there's so many opinions here. It's getting muddled. Like it's hard for me to even decipher what this person's thoughts are versus what everyone around them thinks and feels. Um, so this person could be really sort of dependent on other people's thoughts and opinions here. But yeah, it's like they're trying to be fair to everyone, but by doing that, they're just causing an issue really. Like they just need to sort of decide and go with that. Um, yeah, I see the Page of Pentacles and then the Three of Swords behind that. It feels like... Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Look at this. Judgment and the Four of Wands because they want another chance here. They want another chance. They want more than whatever is going on right now between the two of you. But it's going to cause a disaster with that Tower energy at the bottom. It's going to cause some sort of like chaos here. It's like this person is almost like tempted by you. I kind of get like a little bit of devil energy here and look at it, it's not far behind um, in the deck here. It feels like this person's almost tempted by you, like, but, but involving you or coming back to you just makes it worse. 
This person does feel a strong bond with you and they feel like you're very understanding, which is what they're looking for. But you being understanding of the situation, Sagittarius, it feels like you'd be understanding of a lot of things, not just like one or two things that this person said or did. It's like you're, you'd are you have to be understanding of a whole, I just heard kingdom. I don't know why I heard kingdom. Um, so I don't know. It feels like this person could reach out here, but it feels like immediately almost it turns into uh, chaos. Like there's a fight, there's tension, there's arguments here. So, and I feel like other people could be not happy that this person's talking to you or reaching out to you. It feels like there's too many people here. Uh, what is this person's intentions with Sagittarius? They want, they want a fresh start. Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles again. They don't want to let this go. They do not want to let you go, Sagittarius. Nine of Swords. They can't stop thinking about you. They're having sleepless nights. Um, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to reach out. This person wants truce with you. This person wants to just be on your good side. To be back on in your good energy. But I feel like what they've done or what they are doing right now is making it really hard for you to kind of look past because there's a lot to look past. So yes, this person wants a fresh start. They want to start over. Um, and maybe you're willing, maybe you're like, you know, it doesn't matter that all those other people are involved. Like, you know, we have this strong connection. That's all that matters. Uh, but it, it feels like it's a lot to take on. That's how this feels. Um, so they definitely want, I mean, the page of pentacles can be the friendship card as well. So this person could be like truce, like let's be friends, right? Let's be good. Um, whether it is a lover or a past friend or even family, right? They just want to be on your good side. They don't want you to be mad at them. But they're not really acknowledging like what makes you mad. They're sort of just like, well, this is what it is. What's the potential outcome? The hermit, Virgo energy, the star, Aquarius energy, the lovers, again, Gemini energy. Honestly, I see the seven of swords at the bottom. I feel like this is you saying I'm choosing myself. I need to think about this. You know, I'm working on my own healing. I'm working on my own journey. Um, yes, I have love for you or yes, I care about you, but I'm choosing me this time because I feel like this person is, I feel like they're sort of depending on your big heart that you have with that queen of cups energy. Um, Sagittarius, they're depending on that big heart, that empathy, that understanding that you hold to kind of guide this connection and, and be sort of at the forefront. But I feel like you're choosing you. I feel like you're like, I would rather have my own solitude and peace than anything else. Right. And again, it's, I don't feel like you're, you have animosity towards this person. I don't feel like you're like, you know, I wish bad things on you. I think you're just like, it is what it is. Like, I just would rather be alone than deal with all this mess. Um, and maybe that's not the case right away. Maybe you do have a conversation with this person. You realize it's just going to be messy. It's just going to be a fight. And then you realize, okay, yeah, I just need to sort of be on my own here. Um, I feel like you've learned a lot too. You've, you know, especially if you've been on your own, uh, separate from this person, I feel like you've, you see things differently now. They're not used to that. They're not used to that, uh, Sagittarius. They, they're hoping that, it's not that you don't still have this big heart, and this care and this understanding and this empathy, but you just don't, you use your discernment now. And this person is sort of, uh, tell me more about the hermit. This person is sort of like, they don't get it. Yeah, Page of Swords is so, even if you say to this person, hey, like, you know, I just need some time. Like I, I, I need some time to think about it or I'm just sort of working on me. This person's gonna still ask a lot of questions, spy even maybe, try to see what you're up to. Right. I feel like you might even be asking a lot of questions about this situation. You know, if I'm going to get back together with you or be your friend again or whatever it might be, like I need to understand exactly what's going on. So you might be doing your research, so to speak, as well. Um, how will Sagittarius know who this is? Ten of Pentacles could have been a long term commitment here of some sort. Or this is like someone with a very big, like a big group around them or like a big family. Four of Swords, the Emperor could be an Aries. Someone who's kind of stubborn though. It's like their way or no way is kind of how that feels. Page of Cups, yeah, I always say with the Page of Cups, I feel like it's, yes, it's an apology, but it's not an apology that matches what happened. It's like, okay, I'm sorry, can we move on now? And it's like, but you're saying sorry for stabbing me in the back. 
So yes, I accept your apology, but at the end of the day, it's like, that's not gonna fix it, right? So that's kind of how it feels with this person. Um, this person could be in some sort of long-term commitment right now that you know of. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, any advice for Sagittarius? Any advice? The hanged man, Pisces energy, the five of pentacles. Mm. You see this situation differently. You see strength. Yeah, I feel like it's hard for you, Sagittarius. Whether you admit it out loud or not, I feel like it's hard for you to let this connection go. It's hard for you to put yourself first, but you are. Tap into that inner strength, that inner confidence, right? And even if you're sitting there saying, no, it's quite easy for me to do that. Um, I mean, I feel like it took some time to get there, right? You built up the strength, the courage to do things on your own, to see things as they are. Because I feel like this person... You might even be aware of your own fear of abandonment and maybe that's why um, you know you stayed with this person before or the connection was was quite different before i feel like you've done a lot of inner work with that with that hermit card you just see things differently you're like i'm just i'm not trying to get back into that space i'm not trying to get back into a space where i feel like i'm on the back burner in some way here right um <laughs> spirits <laughs> spirits telling me okay Okay. I mean, as I was talking about, you know, having a new perspective saying, you know, I'm fine without this person. I don't need this person. You know, I'm completely over it. I mean, arguably watching a reading on this person's energy and trying to figure out what they're up to is still sort of energetically putting it out there that in some way, shape or form you're interested or you care about this person, right? So just even acknowledging that, but being like, I can see it for what it is and I've, I've come too far to sort of sit in, in that anymore. Um, you have a lot of strength. You have a lot of courage. Yeah, I see death at the bottom. Scorpio energy. You, you're transforming. You've transformed, I feel. You, do, you don't see this person the same way anymore. And, and that's okay. Um, this person just doesn't, has a hard time with that, I should say. Love spell. You've been bewitched. You could have felt like that with this person. Like, what is wrong with me? Why can't I walk away or get over this? And now you finally have. Um, but I do feel like it's hard. Look at it. We got let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So spirit really asking you to let go. Um, again, letting go doesn't have to be, well, I already stopped talking to them. Or they're blocked. Or, you know, I don't see them anymore that's one way of letting go that's physically letting go but if we're mentally still thinking about this person if emotionally we still get upset at what this person did um spiritually if we're pulling tarot cards on this person we're still connecting to them right so it's just about acknowledging that um we do get sexuality someone is still figuring themselves out only take it if it resonates and then we got gold digger they want your money being used so you might know Maybe it's not this person that you feel embodies this energy. Maybe it's someone around them that you feel does. That could just be extra confirmation. Only take it if it resonates. Um, old school. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, there could be some, like, I'm getting, like, very traditional um, values here or uh, beliefs um, that may be outdated in some way. We did get ascending. Learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union, new phase. So you definitely are. But let's see some hidden messages from this person, Sagittarius. Hidden messages for Sagittarius from this person, please, Spirit. Any hidden messages? Thank you. Thank you. I know I messed up everything. Mm-hmm. They did. They know it. They don't want to talk about it. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. So it's, it's, like, it's almost like they watched it crumble. They watched the betrayal happen. They knew they were doing it. They didn't want to do it necessarily, but they let it happen. So, you know, sometimes, I mean, silence is acceptance. If something's happening that you don't agree with, but you don't say anything about it, you're sort of, you're letting it happen. I feel like that's what this person did to some extent. We got, I am not available. I wish I could take back my words. Someone, yeah, they know they messed up. I feel overwhelmed. I am drowning in my own thoughts. There's that Eight of Swords energy. I cannot listen to your voice. It affects my soul. 
you don't know how hard it was to let you go. This person is, because they miss you. They miss that Queen of Cups energy. I know that you may not feel for me as I feel for you. I could feel insecure. Again, I feel like you've changed, but for the better, for your betterment of yourself, and this person's not used to that. I cannot support your actions. It's too much for me to deal with. So this person might be the type of person that's like, you've changed. But really what you've done is you've set boundaries and you've made sure that you put your well-being first. And if this person was used to you putting them first, um, they don't like that. They can't, and they feel like, oh, I can't support you. I, I, you know, they might even try to turn it on you. Rejecting you is protecting myself. I was being selfish. I feel like there's one more. One more for Sagittarius. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So you're definitely on this person's mind a lot, Sagittarius. Um, let's see. We got helpful people. So <laughs> I'm not surprised this card came out and I see ask for help from others because you might sort of be a lone wolf, Sagittarius, which there's nothing wrong with that. But if you do need support, reach out. But I also just get... I feel like this person has a lot of people around them that they turn to and maybe they do find them helpful, but I feel like it makes this messy. It makes this complicated when it doesn't have to be. Your commitment is being tested. Whenever this card comes out, Sagittarius, I always see it as you've already learned some sort of lesson about self-care, self-value, self-worth, setting boundaries you know, your strength, whatever it might be. And a past energy is coming back around to test you to see if you're going to implement what you've learned, basically. Um, and then you got to have faith in your dreams. Hmm. I just heard Midsummer's Night. I don't know why. Interesting. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Messages for Sagittarius, serendipity, number 18, no place like home. I feel like um, never ending story wanted to come out, but, and then we got chaos and conflict. It landed on its side, so I'll read the upright and the protection message, but let's see. Number 18. which says spirit has a plan and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time you have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey someone spirit wants to bring into your life only divine forces can plan this meeting it is out of your hands pay attention to the signs spirit presents so oftentimes when something really good is about to happen um, there's like this sort of test first, right? Um, I will try to upload the new love reading today as well, Sagittarius, but so make sure you check, have notifications on, check that out. Um, but this could be speaking to that new love that's coming in. Um, we also got 50, which says no place like home. There are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory driven creatures and we all look for certainty for what we know, even if the qualities we seek in other people and in external conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Remember, if you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar, and you will attract and be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be different unless you do something different. Strong message there from Spirit. So again, um, this person could feel like very familiar to you. There's a lot of history, whatever it might be, but it may not be the best for your growth. Right. Um, okay, so I will read both messages because the, the card came out sideways. So the upright says, stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The in innocent need to, incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, and what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. 
Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. And the protection message says, this is an advantageous moment to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation. Even in the seeming chaos, there is a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news. The timing is perfect. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how the situation affects you long term. Be present in the eye of chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. So, strong message there because I was getting that chaos with that five of wands. So, um, be an observer of it right? But don't sort of um, lose yourself in it, I would say, because I feel like you've come so far, Sagittarius. Okay, but if you still have questions, Sagittarius, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. They also have a huge Black Friday sale on right now, so check out those links in the description. Um, but let's see. Oh, not that many today. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe the other people that might be involved, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate with you though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got S, Y, X, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Sagittarius, so I hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.